My name is Martin Jusik, and I am 16 years old. Today is November the 27th, 2016, and I'm speaking with Carol Jusik, who is my grandmother. We are recording this interview in Midlothian, Illinois. My name is Carol Jusik. I'm Martin's grandmother. I'm 78 years old. And I'm here to give you my view of life at 78. About your parents. My parents were Carol Tulaski Kabicki. She was a dressmaker. My dad was Aloysius Kabitsky, and he was a grocery store owner. Both my parents were born in the United States, although their parents immigrated from Poland. My parents were very loving. My father was very loud and kind of bossy. My mother was very quiet, very loving, very gentle. What was your childhood like? When I was born, I was the first grandchild on either side of the family. My father had four sisters and a brother that were younger than he was. My mother had two sisters and three brothers that were younger than she was. So of course everybody oohed and odd over the new baby and I got a lot of toys. I suppose I was spoiled. But there were a lot of family gatherings, big celebrations. And we had a great time, especially in the summertime when we could have our outdoor barbecues. Share with me the story of how you and Grandpa met. Tell me about your wedding and your honeymoon. Back in 1959, September of 59, A few of us girls decided to join a bowling league. We figured the exercise would be good. And we could also meet guys. And that's how I had met your grandfather, Richard. Now, he was a great bowler. I stunk. And... In the beginning, he was going to teach me how to be a great bowler. Well, he never succeeded in that. But we dated for five years and married uh, April 11th, 1964, at Seven Holy Founders Church. The reception was at the Polish home. We honeymooned at... Uh, the Castaway Resort in Miami Beach. We had a great time exploring Florida. What are you most grateful for? Well, I'm grateful for my life, grateful for my parents, grateful for my health, for my children, for my grandchildren. And I really get a big kick out of seeing my grandchildren becoming interested in things that excited me when I was their age. Thinking about your family many, ge many generations from now and knowing that they might hear this recording, is there anything you want to say to them? Any wisdom or advice you would like to share? I would just say stop and think. First and foremost, stop and think and treat others the way you'd like to be treated. Because the day may come when those people that you're bullying will be turning around to have a chance to bully you.